Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from Excel by Joe. Uh, in this video, if you want to see me build this tool for running multiple simulations for NBA games for sports betting, then uh, stick around. I'm going to show you how to build this tool where you can pick the teams, press delete, and it's going to recalculate as many uh, game simulations as you want. It'll show your win percentage with the spread, uh, how it is versus the over-under, their highs, lows, and uh, I'll show you how to build this complete tool in this video. So stick around, click the like button if you uh, like this, if you uh, enjoy this video, if you want to see more simulation type videos, and uh, subscribe to the channel. So let's get right into it. So first thing what we want to do is show you how to simulate one game and the basics of that. Then we'll get into simulating multiple games. So in order to simulate a game, I mean, well, obviously we'll have to get our teams. You need uh, two things. You're going to need a projected score and you'll need a standard deviation. So what we first to get the projected score, there's a couple ways that we can do that. Uh, the first one is you can just go right to the odds on Fantasy Labs. Here, uh, this is just one of many sites where you can get like the Vegas implied uh, implied team totals, but there's many sites where you can get that. So like here, we're gonna well, let's do this game: the Lakers against the Nets. So we've got an um, implied team total of 113 and a half to 116 and a half. So we could use that if we wanted to go with the Vegas odds route. We could also use team rankings. So what I do normally, see if we go to team rankings here. Here's the uh, points per game. And so there's, there's Brooklyn. They got 121 points per game, and their opponent is the Lakers, and the Lakers give up about 106 points per game. So what I would do is I would take the formula, do average of 121 and 106, and it comes out to 113.5. So that's a very basic way of getting an adjusted uh, score or projected score. So those are two ways, or many people just have their own spreadsheets to come up with projected score. I mean, you could use that too. Uh, whatever you want to do, let's just uh, put this in here. So we got Brooklyn, and we got the LA Lakers. And projected score, I'm going to go by the Vegas implied totals. But again, you can use whatever you want. So 113.5 to 116.5. Uh, standard deviation. To get the standard deviation, I've got that already set right here. The standard deviation is just um, how vari variant their scores are. For example, if someone scores 100 in all their games, they're not going to have any variance. They basically always score 100. Even if one game happens to be, say, 96, another game is 104. The standard deviation is small. If if they score way off, like say 71 game, they get 140 in another game, and so on. They've got a higher variance of outcomes, so they're going to have a higher standard deviation. It's just kind of like for one here for Brooklyn, the standard deviation at home is 11.94. So pretty much the bulk of their scores show up between 110 and 133 and other teams obviously have different standard deviation but we need to put this in to sim the game so Brooklyn is on the road so they got 13.79 standard deviation and the Lakers are at home and they only have a 9.43 standard deviation so now we're going to just sim the score to do that, we need the formula norm inv. Then put parentheses, and we got to put uh, three uh, three variables. First one is probability. All that is is rand with two parentheses. That just means it's a random number between zero and one. Comma. Then the mean. Mean is their average or their projected or adjusted score, which would be this number. Comma. And then here is the standard deviation. Close the parentheses, 
There, and they get 135.0089. Now, nobody, I mean, no teams can score 135.1, so we need to add a formula up front of it called round. So then we put another parentheses. We put, we kind of nest this number in here for what we're rounding. And then here, how many decimals do we want to, number of digits after the decimal, do we want to round to? We want zero, because we don't want any decimals. So then we end the parentheses there. 131 is their score. Now if I copy this down, now it's looking at C5 and D5, which is these, and it's running the, the score. So now every time you press delete, it runs a simulation off of off of these numbers. And there the Lakers won 121 to 96. Press it again. Oh, Brooklyn wins 120 to 110. Brooklyn wins 103 to 99. So that is just how you run a simple projection uh, for for um, one game. And uh, just use your adjusted score. However you get it, and the standard deviation, which is a changing number. This is just off of 2020 numbers, and there's only been like 30 games so far. So uh, this number can change too. So that's how to get a basic one. But now how do we get, um, say, run 100 simulations or 1,000 simulations to get a little more accurate um, score, a more, more simulations? So let's get into that right now. All right, so now that we know how to simulate one game, let's get this set up to automate to simulate mini games, and then we can see the results of that. So first thing we want to do is start creating our page. Here I got it set up just for the mini, mini sims. I'm going to just format it a little bit. I want to get the cells just slightly bigger to make it a little easier to see. Let's get a different color. And there we go. So this is just going to be our multi-simulations NBA. Okay, so we've got our page started. Let's get our data going. Because what we need to do is set up three pieces to the, um, to this puzzle. We need to set, our, get up our, set up our inputs, which we um, basically getting our projected points and our standard deviation. Then we got to build the simulation model and then we get a report out on it. So first one is the odds. I'm not going to have the odds automatically pull in, but I'm just going to put a link to it up here. So now we can easily just go to it every day when we're going to run it. So right here are Vegas odds. So then we can see our point spreads over under and so on. Next, what we want to do, get a, the uh, team rankings. So remember, we talked about three different ways you can get the projected score. You can either use the team rankings to kind of get to kind of get your adjusted average score. You can use your own projections, or you can use the team totals from uh, implied team totals from Vegas. So if you don't want to do the team rankings, you can just skip this step. But I'm going to show you how to do this if you, if you wanted to give that one a try, at least to have another perspective on points. So with offensive points per game, we're going to go to our web page, which is right here. All you do is you copy the link in, and we're going to go up to data from the web. And we're just going to get it to automatically pull in. Then all you have to do is just go onto the page and, and click refresh. See where it says refresh all and it'll refresh the data. It just takes a second to load up. You gotta click the right table. And there we go, it's table zero. We're gonna load it. And so it's loading now, then what we're gonna do Oh, it put it to a new table, so I guess we don't need to need these. So let's call this offense. And now here we're going to do another one of those to get the defense of how many points they give up a game for the team they're playing. So again, we're going to do data from the web. And now it's... It's loading that up. I just have to plug my computer in, losing some 
battery charge here. And we'll load that one up. And it should only take a few seconds. Now all you have to do when the days come, you just go back onto the onto here, you click on the table and just click refresh and it'll refresh the data. So let's name this defense. Let's get rid of these two. Oops, I didn't need those. So now we have offense and defense. And we'll go back to our Sims tab. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start building. Here's the away team. And let's call this the home team here. All right. So what we're gonna do, this is where we're going to allow you to pick a team. So to do that, we go to data, validations, and we want a list. And what's our source? Let's just go to the offense and just do a drop down and just highlight all the teams or press OK. So now when you go on it, you can pick all the teams and it's in order of offensive points per game. Actually, if you want to have it, maybe we what we should do is copy all the teams. Yeah, this is actually a second way to do it. Let's copy all the teams, just say over here down on the side, and let's sort them alphabetical. Uh, let's see, I put Brooklyn as the title, so let's do this sort again. No title. There. So now we've got all our teams sorted in alphabetical order, and then we can, here now we can, let's pick, let's change this, so we go to data. But either way you want to do it is fine. So let's just change the source from there to here. So now you can pick your home team and your away team. Say so we pick Brooklyn as the away team. We'll do the same thing for home. Data validation. We want a list, and where's our source? Right here. And we'll pick the Lakers. So we've got our two teams set up here. Next, we're gonna start putting in our our data from the, from the other um, tabs. So, let's see. We can pick their standard deviation. So we're looking up Brooklyn. One, two, three, fourth column, comma false. There, so there's your standard deviation. I will do the same thing for the Lakers. Now we want the third column because they're the home team. So we get the correct standard deviation in there. And let's just format it quickly, make it look a little better. There. Now we're going to do our team rankings. And to do that, we're going to do an average. So we're going to average out the two items. So we're doing a VLOOKUP on this team. We want their offense. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the six column is there away, and the six comma false. So that's one number. And then the second column will be looking up the actually the second one's a V lookup again. We're looking up the Lakers. But this time on the defense, to see what they give up. Two, three, four, five at home. So that's the fifth column. I'm going to put two parentheses because you got to end the VLOOKUP and you got to end the average function, and it's 116. 
So we could do the same thing now. So we're gonna, it, it'll only take a second. We're going to do average of the VLOOKUP. So we're going to average out two numbers. We're going to look up the Lakers in the offense. And this time it's the fifth column because they're at home. And then we're going to do a VLOOKUP for the defensive team. And what do they give up on the road, which is the sixth column? There, so that's what our team rankings project is an adjusted score. Now what we can do is add in the point spread, the over under, and the point spread that's just gonna come from our link. So you're gonna go on the fantasy labs, you're gonna find the point spread. So here's our Live Brooklyn plus, plus three, Lakers minus three. So we get Brooklyn plus three, Lakers minus three. We put in the over under of 237. This is more just so we can get our reporting out on it. And I all we have left to do is just a spot for our projections. So this is what we're going to actually use. So this is going to be a fill in number for whatever you're choosing. You may have your own uh, projections, you put that number in. If you want to use the team ranking projections, you put this number in. If you want to use the implied totals, which is 113.5, 116.5, you can do that. I'm just going to do that for this purposes. 113.5, 116.5. Oops, 0.5. Okay, so we have our input all set up. Um, we could, obviously, we could format it to look nicer, but I'm not, I won't do that right now. I'll do that at the end of the video. So next is we're going to build our simulation. So let's click a uh, new tab here. We'll call it simulations. And so what we want to do first is get... Here. We're going to... Do the away team score. Here's the home team score. Who's the winner? We're going to do that. And then, how um, if does the away team win with the spread? Does the home team win with the spread? And how do we do against the over under? So now we're going to start our formula the norm INV function, which we went earlier in this video. The probability, remember, is rand. Let's just give you a random number. Now, what's the average? We're going to go back over to our sim tab, and our average is the score right here, the projected score. And then what's our standard deviation? The cell right there. So we end the parentheses, and there's our score, 117. And then we're going to do round comma zero to get our actual real number. And what we're going to have to do is put an anchor on, on these cells here. An anchor just means it, when you copy it over, it's not going to change the reference. So it's always looking at cells G4 and C4 because we always want it to look at the standard deviation and our projected score. So that there we go. We got our away team score. Next, we'll do our home team. So probability is RAND. Our average is going to do the same thing right here. And our standard deviation is the cell. We're going to put round in front of it. And we need to put the dollar signs in front of our reference. Okay, so we simulated one game here. Now all we need to do, what if we want to simulate 10 games? Copy it down. There, we just got simulated 10 games. I'm going to simulate 20 games. Now we got 20 games simulated. It's as easy, I mean, it's, it's not any more difficult than that. If you can understand this first part, 
of, of doing this, you can understand making a bunch of simulations. So now let's pick the, choose the winner here. So we're going to do an if statement. If this cell is greater than this cell, then we're going to put away. So the away team is the winner. If it's not, then we're going to put home. So we copy it down. And we got away or home team. But actually before this, what we want to do, we want to check to make sure the numbers don't tie. So we're going to do a double, like a nested if. So in front of this if statement, we're going to do if parentheses, this number equals this number. Then we're going to just put OT for overtime. We're just going to skip those games, comma, and then we're going to leave... If it doesn't, if they don't equal, then we're going to run the second if statement. So that's called a nested if, like or a double if, if, if statement. See, on the first one, I already tied. So then when we do our reporting, we're only going to report on the ones with a home or away team win, not when there's a tie. All right, now let's look at the away team with the spread. So we're going to do an if statement, and it's going to be very similar. If this cell plus, now we have to go to our point spread here. This plus this cell greater than this number. So now we've got our formula here. Then what do we want to put? We want to put win, or we'll just put a W. Otherwise, we'll put an L for a loss. So now when we copy this down, let's look, see if we get any close games here within three points. See, well, here's within four points. They lost by four. Even with the plus three, they didn't, uh, they didn't cover. Here they won by four and plus three. It just means they uh, won by more points. Now let's check the home, the home team spread. We're going to do the same thing. If, well, actually, what we forgot to do, is anchor this F2 because we want it. We're not actually want to anchor this E4 so it's always looking at the point spread. Because if we looked at here, see now it's looking at E5, and E5 on here is, an, is, is a blank cell. So it's not adding anything to the point spread. So we got our cell anchored, and now we should have our, our uh, point spread all ready to go. And now let's do the same thing for this. If, parentheses, the home team plus the point spread. When you're doing plus or minus, it's really just minus. It'll just subtract it. If it's greater than the away team, then you can put a W. Otherwise, we're going to put a loss. Let's anchor the cell. Copy it down. And there we go. And see, look at this game. This was 107 to 107. And this game was overtime. But with the point spread, the team that gets plus three wins. The team that got minus three loses. So we know it's working. And the over-under, we're going to do one more if. So if, parentheses. And now we want to check. Put this into double parentheses. This plus this. So if our total score is greater than our over under, then we put over. Otherwise we'll put under. Now we need to anchor this F4. So it's always looking at the point spread. And there we go. So now we have 20 simulations right here. Let's make a whole bunch. There, we have about 225 simulations. I think that's good for to start. Um, that's not enough to slow down your computer. If you start making like 10,000 simulations, it might slow down your computer when, see, you press delete, it redoes everything. 
Um, once you have 10,000, it might take a second or two seconds to do it, but it's not too much of a big deal. Okay, so now we have all our simulation, our simulation uh, model all set. All we have left to do is report out on it. So what we're going to do, we're going to put in wins. So let's see how many times does uh, Brooklyn actually win the game. So to do that, we're going to do count if, count ifs. What that's going to do, it's going to count cells based on multiple criteria. So what's the criteria range? We're going to simulation. We want to check the winner. And then what do we, comma, then what's, what do we want the criteria to be? We want it to be away. And really, this is only one criteria, so we could have just done count if. Count if does one criteria, count ifs does multiple, but count ifs will also do just one criteria. So there, Brooklyn has 94 wins. Now let's see the Lakers. How many do they have? So we'll see what we'll do. Just do count if, and we're going to check the range. Come on, this time we want home, because we want to see if the home team won. And they won 135 times. So now what we can do, we're going to do the, our win percentage. How often did they win? All that is going to be is a formula, which is this cell divided by parentheses this plus this. And it's 40% of the time. I'm going to turn this into a percentage. And we're going to do the same thing here. The cell divided by parentheses this plus both their wins. There, they won 56% of the time. Now let's check the win with the spread. So we're going to do the same thing. Count if. And what's the range? Here's the away spread, comma. We only want the ones, we only want to count the W's for all the, just for the wins. So they were 123 times with the spread. Now let's do the home team, which is the Lakers. Count if, comma, quote, W quote. There, so they won 112 times. And if we want win with the spread percentage, we're going to do the same thing. Win, but actually we're going to do this divided by, now let's do count A. So count A, what that's going to do, if we go to simulation, we're going to click on this and, hot, and look from range H2 to here it's the H240. Let's just make it to 99999. The difference between here is because sometimes there's going to be losers in both games. Because with the point spread, sometimes if they if it's a push, you're both going to lose. So we don't want to do uh, the wins divided by like the total wins from both teams because there, there could be cases where they both lose. So the count A just counts non-blank cells, and it's going to count how many instances there are. So we press enter, and it's a 53% win percentage. And it's the same thing here. So we're going to do this divided by count A. And you don't have to highlight the whole thing. See, I'm just going to highlight a few rows. And then you can just come up here and manually change it. See, now if you look at it, 46% of the time they win, 51% of the time they win. So that's only 97% of the time. So in this instance, there's, there's a push. 3% of the time. Here, the same thing. And the last one is the over-under. Or let's just look at the over. We'll call it over and under. So the over is going to be just another count if. We're going to count here. And what do we want it to count? Count over. So that's going to count how many overs there are, and then we're going to divide it by the same thing, count A. So it's just dividing it by 
the number of instances that it happens. So the over only happens 33% of the time. And the under happens, we don't have to, see, we don't have to do this for each team because the over under is a combined score. So we do the same thing here. The under, so we're going to do a count if. There, so we got count how many unders divided by count A. So it's counting the non-blank cells. There we go. So 66% of the time, it's an under. And that's basically it. I mean, you can still do more numbers. Say if you wanted to do the high, what was the high score? You just do a formula called max. And we go to simulations. What was their high score? 150. And what was their high score? So we do max. And we can do the same thing for the low score, min. And min. And this is just some of the items you could do. You could definitely do more. But there we go. Now we have our full uh, data betting model. Um, and it's ready to go. All you need to do is press a button. And it's going to recalculate everything. And you can even, if you change the team, say we, instead of the Lakers, we're saying New York. And watch, see how it, it changed the team ranking numbers, it changed your standard deviation. You can go in and change the point spread and the over under. Press delete and it's going to rerun it again. So I hope you enjoyed um, this. Let's, uh, before we end this video, let me just format this, make it look a little nicer. And let's see. And there we go. I think it looks, uh, make the team names a little bigger. There. Kind of like it. Press, all you got to do is go in here, press delete, and it recalculates all your win percentage, loss percentage, and, and so on. And you can even change your projected, your adjusted scores, the over-under, um, standard deviation, and you're good to go. So that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you liked it, uh, smash that uh, thumbs up, the like button, uh, subscribe, so you can uh, see more videos like this. Post comments. If you like um, seeing these simulation videos, definitely post a comment in there. Just, just say that you like the videos, then I can make more of, of them. And check out um, with all the links below in the description, I've got a video course at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com uh, that you can check out. I even have a link below to the uh, coupon code. And uh, go to www.OptimizeLineups.com to check out all our spreadsheet tools for uh, building lineups for daily fantasy. And uh, that's it. I got to go. So you guys have a great day. Good luck in your games, and I'll see you later.